Hi, <coughs> Dr. Bella speaking. Um, this is my New Year's uh, message. Uh, today I'm, uh, I'm going to talk about how to make a powerful, powerful New Year's resolution. I think this is the most important thing that a medical doctor can talk about ever. So um, this is uh, the end of the year and end of the year is a good time when we think about where we are coming from and where we are heading to and how happy we are with um, different aspects of our life, our health, our achievements and everything. So <clears throat> a New Year's resolution it can come in the best uh, time really because when we think about all these things and if you want to make some changes, a New Year's resolution can be an amazing vehicle for, for these changes. For example, <clears throat> Einstein's um, definition of insanity is that if we do the same things every day and we accept uh, something different from it. So if you are unhappy with any aspect of your life, uh, the New Year's resolution uh, can be an amazing opportunity to make uh, changes. Um, <clears throat> so before I'm going to talk about how to make a powerful uh, New Year's resolution, let's talk about what to include in it. So um, let, let me give you a priority list. And uh, the first, first uh, priorities can be good for anybody because these are health-related uh, um, goals really. So the, the most important priority is if you are smoking, it, it should be your <clears throat> top priority in your New Year's resolution that you quit smoking because smoking is the worst, uh, worst thing that anybody can uh, do to themselves because it damages every cell of your body. The next uh, <clears throat> target in your, um, or area in your New, New Year's resolution list can be your diet. So if you don't have a, a daily healthy diet, you, you should uh, rethink it and uh, cut sugar most importantly and add fiber and add a uh, fresh vegetable. The next uh, thing uh, I think um, health related uh, high priority list, if you carry some extra weight, drop it, drop few stones. Uh, and I think the best way to do it is through a ketogenic uh, diet. The next one is uh, if you drink too much. So if you drink every day, first of all, and if you drink one more than one or two units a day. So every week there has to be one or two days when you don't think at all. And if you drink the, more than these one, uh, two units, you have to cut it back. The next one is exercise. You have to exercise uh, one or th three times a week. And what I mean on exercise is when you sweat and your heart and lungs pop out uh, from your chest. That's exercise. So walking a little bit is, and walking the dog is not exercise. And uh, I would like to add <clears throat> to the health-related uh, pr high priority list uh, me time. So ha there has to be uh, a balance uh, in our lives and uh, we have to have some me time when we me is uh, the highest priority. It can be something relaxing to you. It can be a meditation or a relaxation. It can be reading or watching something that's about uh, you. And if you are good with all these high priority things, then I think the next thing on your New Year's resolution list can be, for example, a new skill. Um, start um, cooking, for example, or, or how to make good quality photographs or whatever, whatever is important for you, a new hobby or whatever. For example, my last year's uh, New Year res resolution was uh, to take a video, one video a week. And uh, I exceeded um, this uh, thing because there uh, were weeks when I shot more than seven uh, videos uh, a week. So uh, these are about um, the, the priorities, what to include in, in your New Year's resolution. And now I would like to talk about how to make it very, very powerful. So for example, first of all, we knew it from research. It takes 90 days for a new skill to, to be settled or to get rid of uh, an unwanted uh, habit. Um, so we have to uh, set the time for 90 days. And uh, if, as I said, the new year is an amazing time for, for, for this kind of changes, but 
if you uh, decide to do it in the end of January, or in March, or whenever in the year, it's called the 90-day challenge. So it should be uh, 90 days. And of course, it's challenging because when you learn something new or you, when you get, want to get rid of uh, an unwanted habit, it's always challenging because it takes you out of your comfort zone. So it's, it should be uh, 90 days and um, you have to record your uh, commitments very, very clearly. So for example, I'm gonna um, go to a gym three times a year, uh, three, sorry, three times a week, or I'm going to uh, make fresh juices three times a week, or I'm gonna uh, do this once a day or do that as many times a week. So it has to be very, very clear and uh, you have to share this, um, this commitment with your accountability partner. So if you want to make your uh, New Year's resolution or a 90 day, cha 90 day challenge powerful, you need to find an accountability partner who keeps an eye on you and, uh, and, and makes you accountable for your um, commitment. So for example, you, you might share your New Year's resolution with all of your Facebook friends, or in case of my patients, you can use, for example, my uh, Dr. Bella Clinic uh, Facebook page and you can share uh, your New Year's resolution there and I'm happy to be your accountability partner. The, the next thing about a, a powerful um, New Year's resolution that you need to share evidence. It can be daily or it can be uh, weekly but you have to share with your accountability partners uh, the evidences that you are on track. So it might be uh, a picture taken in the gym or it can be a picture taken on your new diet or it can be an image taken on the, the scale uh, showing that um, you are less than uh, your startup weight or whatever it is. Uh, that uh, uh, an evidence a proof that you are on on, on track and uh, I would like to uh, suggest that don't pick more than one or two goals for your challenges otherwise it might be uh, too much and uh, you will fail so pick one or two most important one and, and, and don't pick more than that the next next thing is a, a painful pledge so it, it has to be painful if you fail your challenge so for example, a painful pledge can be uh, you commit 500 pounds to your ex, wh whoever it is, ex-wife, uh, husband, partner, whoever, and you have, if you fail, let's say you can, you can make it once, so if you fail once, that's it, or if you fail maximum three times during the 90-day challenge, you have to give 500 pounds to your ex-partner and he has to or she has to spend it on on uh, their new partner. So it, I think this is something painful. Or you can offer this amount of money uh, to a charity, but it has to be painful if you um, break your uh, commitment. And another aspect uh, of a powerful New Year's resolution is uh, swimming with sharks or uh, flying with eagles. So if you think really, um, um, honestly and seriously about your New Year's resolution, it, may, it might mean that you need to find new friends. So for example, you need to fr find friends who invite you to the gym instead of going to the, inviting you to the pub. And you might uh, need to find new friends who invite uh, you for a running instead of for a, a fifth, uh, cakes, uh, fifth cake uh, during the, the same day. So uh, think about who your uh, friends are and who your uh, partners are in, in, in this challenge and, and um, select them um, accordingly. <clears throat> and um, yeah, that's it. That's everything on, on, on my list. Um, for example, uh, my, my New Year's resolution um, this year uh, for 2018 is uh, gonna sound a little bit mysterious and I'm going to leave it this, uh, this way and maybe I'm gonna uh, talk about a little bit uh, more about this at the end of 2018 but my New Year's resolution for this year is uh, changing the life of 100 people in 2018. So that's it, that's it for now and um, I'm gonna talk about it um, 
uh, at the end of the year, uh, how I performed with, with this kind of New Year's resolution of mine. So this is, uh, I think, how to make a powerful New Year's resolution. If you have any questions or comments about this, please pop it below uh, the post uh, in, in, in a comment section. And if you like this video and uh, if you think it might be important for others, please like it and uh, share it with others. So that's it. Thank you for uh, watching and I wish you a very, very uh, happy and successful uh, new year for 2018 and most importantly, uh, good health. Thank you. Bye for now.